All right, y'all, so we're coming up into 2025 here soon, shortly, and people are still sleeping on platforms and opportunities that's been around for a while now. Now, as you all can see here on the screen, this is my Facebook earnings. Now, I only did Facebook for a short time, which I'll, I'll explain why. Facebook is one of those platforms where it's a huge opportunity there, it's amazing, but when things go wrong, it's not like YouTube where there's a support person you can get in contact with, you can talk to people, you can, yo, check this out, look into this for me. Like, it's it's nothing like that. It's like, if something goes wrong, it's almost impossible to contact somebody on Facebook. And it's, it's very hard to get them to deal with issues and stuff like that. Their, their technical support, their support side of things is absolutely horrible. That's the downside of Facebook in comparison to YouTube. Now, as far as the earnings, the earning potential on Facebook is actually pretty good. Like at one point it was greater than YouTube. I'm not sure if that's still the case because I haven't actually been grinding on Facebook um, as much as I do YouTube nowadays, but the amount of money that you can actually make on Facebook is insane. Like obviously, as you can see here, this was like, this is real, this is a real number of course. And this was from between November to when was this around july from november to july now this my best day as you can see my best day what was my earning on my best day that i did in like one day um let's see almost 900 bucks so 900 bucks in one day is pretty crazy that that's a that's a huge deal so that's th this is the opportunity that's here on facebook man and the best part about the a uh, facebook in comparison to youtube is that it's less competitive to YouTube, and and that means that there's more opportunities for the smaller creators. Now, as far as longevity goes, YouTube has proven to be a better, better long-term um, platform to be on and grow on and prosper on because there's so many people you can point to where they've had long careers, lasting careers on YouTube. Nobody can take that away from YouTube. However, for an extra side bag, an extra side opportunity, Facebook is completely slept on. And the best part about Facebook is what you could do is take your content that you already post on platforms like YouTube, maybe TikTok or whatever, and bring those right over here to Facebook and just repost your own content over here on Facebook. If something go wrong, you don't have to care. Like I couldn't get in contact with YouTube. I'm like, ah, uh, okay, this income, it, I took a hit, but I'm like, okay, I, I says it's not worth the headache. It's not worth the headache of me you know, trying to get them to see it. I just stopped using Facebook personally because I, I ran into an issue and creators do it all the time. Some creators see it through. Some creators can get their um, accounts back and stuff like that or get their accounts back in good standing. But at the point where I lost monetization, um, yeah, I just, I stopped using Facebook personally. Now, but that doesn't change the opportunity that, that Facebook has. That doesn't change the amount of money. Like 36 grand is crazy. Like that, that's that's a crazy amount for only a couple of months. So yeah, now let's let's look at um some of the some of the views and stuff that it took to actually accomplish that. So as you can see, the reach was 39.8 million. Three second views, I had 62.4 million. So that's how many times my um video basically crossed somebody's screen, I believe. Um, the number of times your video reels were played for at least three seconds. So yeah, that was the three second view. Some people viewed it for three seconds, but when it comes down to the one minute views, which is really what pays you, it was only 13.2 13 million people who saw the one minute views. So for 13.2 million um, views, essentially, I was paid, what's that, 36 bucks, 36, 36 thousand dollars. That's huge. That, 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 is, that is a very, very big deal. Now. You also have to keep in mind this is this is just the paying like, like you or Facebook actually paying you what they're willing to pay you their their AdSense or their you know their their partners program or 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 performance program and stuff like that. This is how this is how they pay you. And actually, this does not even include the performance bonuses and all of that. So there is more income on here. It's just like this platform is weird, and I don't actually even know how to find that. They switched the. They switched the layout to this whole meta design and it switched over from the old design and it's been harder to find certain analytics ever since. So yeah, um, this that wasn't even like, I didn't even show you all the earnings that I made from the reels. I don't know how to get to the reels earnings and stuff like that. But yeah, so as you can see, this is the, is this the reels? I think this is the reels. 
I don't know. Let's see if that's different. Um, three second views, fifteen second views, one minute views. Nah, this is not reels. That's that's just overall because obviously most reels don't have one minute views. But um, yeah, videos. Let's see videos. Yeah, that's just showing the same thing. So you can see. So this part is the only thing that's changing. Um, yeah. But so yeah, this is everything. Um, so as anyway, as you can see, thirty two point four million three second views, thirteen point two million one minute views. Um, 13.2 million was what it, that was all it took to make $36,000 over here on Facebook. Now you, to put it in perspective, depending on what you're doing, you can make far greater money than this on Facebook. I know a lot of people bringing in over a hundred K a month on Facebook. Um, and like I said, the, comp the competition is low. The competition is very, very low. Like it's, it's not, it's not that high at all. So whether you're into cars, you can do a car page and that looks, that, that pays very, very well. You can do finance content that that'll obviously pay very, very well. Um, you can do any type of, any type of content that you want. It's, it's, it's less competitive, but you have to be careful because you have to make sure it's not as people don't go to Facebook to consume content the same way that they go to YouTube to consume content. So you might not have these small niche sub communities, or it may be too small to the point where it's not profitable, some things. So you do kind of want to be in the bigger industries, the, the bigger, like um, there's Fortnite. If you can do Fortnite content on here, you can do um, Apex Legends. I'm not sure Apex Legends is necessarily profitable, but it's a little something there. Like you can do some games. I wouldn't say all gaming is, you know, fair to do or free to do on Facebook, because there's not an audience to just watch any game that you would want to post. Cars, obviously cars is huge, it's massive. You can make tons of money doing car content here on Facebook. Um, cooking, obviously you can make cooking videos. Um, finance, like I said, um, gaming, Some is there some gaming, but there's like certain niche things that you might not really see the same results that you would see on a platform like YouTube. Now, I'll leave that up to you to do your research and due diligence about what you would want to try to go for. But if you actually want me to break down some more niches and things in particular that I know for certain works over on Facebook and give you all a little bit more tips and insights into what I've seen works and, and what um, actually has a gap in the market right now where you could come in as a content creator and jump into some lanes to try to get something moving on Facebook for you. Let me know if you all would want me to go through um, and, and show you all some of that. Um, in the, um, let me know in the comments. Yeah. Cause I can go through and, and maybe analyze some things on Facebook, see where the opportunities that let you all know where what's going on. Another thing about this is, I don't know if you all know, Facebook is currently trying to figure out how to monetize Instagram. They have this thing going on where you can kind of connect your Facebook account to your Instagram account. So the thing is, if you're already monetized and doing your thing on Facebook, chances are when they come out with their monetization um, system for Instagram, you're probably going to already be monetized on Instagram. So that comes with huge benefits. And, and obviously that's a great thing. There's a lot of money to be made there, but they're trying to figure it out. And they have already admitted like they, um, Facebook did come out and admit that, yo, we don't know how YouTube is actually able to monetize short form content and stuff like that. Maybe they're just better than us. We're trying, we're trying to figure it out ourselves. But once we figure it out, we're going to bring that to all of our creators on the platform. So the fact that they gave us that level of transparency, uh, and I'll bring more content showing you all some of the stuff that's coming, showing you all some of the opportunity, but the fact that they were able to be that transparent and let us know that, yo, we don't got it figured out. We don't know how to make money from this, so how can we pay y'all if we don't know how to make money? So certain things we just can't do right now. So I, I feel I'm very you know confident in a future for Facebook because of the level of transparency that they've actually given us when it comes down to things like that. So let me know how you all feel about that. Let me know if you are interested in, in creating for Facebook, if you didn't know that this is the type of opportunity that's here on Facebook. But yeah, I just wanted to show you all um, my, my old Facebook account, just so you can see that there is an opportunity here. Um, the, like I said, the only thing that's annoying about Facebook is it's hard to, to deal with support. So if something goes wrong, it's just like, it's hard to run a business with Facebook under and I do do this full time, so it does it doesn't make sense for me to be sitting here trying to fight just to talk to Facebook. It's like yeah, that's a waste of my time. I, I would rather go on a platform where if something goes wrong, I can talk to someone, we get it dealt with immediately, and I, it's back to business. So yeah, like 
It's very good earning potential, but definitely start with Facebook more so as a hobby type thing. And I would suggest probably doing content for it's a platform like YouTube that's more stable and then throwing a little bit extra here on Facebook or something like that. Like don't, I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't dive all in on Facebook being the main thing. I, I wouldn't do that personally. Now, it, as a side thing, amazing. It's, it's an amazing opportunity, a lot of money to be made. But yeah, that's just some of my thoughts on Facebook. A lot of money in it, a lot of opportunity. Let me know if you all wanna see other things. Let me know if you want other tips and advice for, um, or Facebook or YouTube or anything else. I, I'm gonna be breaking down a lot of what I do around social media to you all in videos coming up here on the channel. So be sure, be sure to subscribe, drop that thumbs up, all that good stuff, man. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, fam.